to realize that the industry would probably be helped you know, by, by a, a format that, that, that would allow you to, uh, to have interoperability and portability. So, so OpenCL was initially developed by Apple and then, and then uh, brought into the to Chronos group for, uh, uh, for maintenance and, and oversight. Um, you know, we, we've, we've experimented. This is this was this slide is a little bit hard to follow. The point of it is that that, that already in, in 2009 we put a system together. We threw everything in it that we had. You know, uh, AMD graphics cards, in, uh, Nvidia graphics cards, cell processor, Intel processor, AMD processor, power processors, and, and had it all work together on a, on a, on a single uh, fluid dynamics program uh, off of a single code base. So, so you know, now that didn't prove that this was highly performant, but it did, it did show you know, a very high degree of uh, interoperability. Uh, some, some early uh, experimentation with, uh, with Cell, uh, and, and this was a, a fairly uh, compute intensive uh, program problem, uh, but it, and, and, and we may have made improvements since then, but it showed that at a, at a very modest penalty, uh, you could use OpenCL versus the uh, Cell SDK. You see here that the, uh, the performance of that does indeed approximate what we could get with the cell SDK. You know, if, if you if you don't pre-compile, uh, the performance here was distinctly less. This was basically something we had worked on at, at that time, so I wouldn't you know, want to take uh, things away from that. Uh, this is this is a comparison against uh, the, the the then uh, Nvidia. Oh, sorry. This is this is on on a, on a, on a Nvidia Tesla. I think the, the prior generation to what we had now, uh, and there to and again, this was a fairly computationally intensive problem. But we've seen, you know, a fairly modest penalty on, on many workloads, and, and in my opinion, a penalty that that certainly uh, justifies you know going to a, to, a, to 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 an open and portable standard uh, <coughs> on, on that other applications. So, what does yeah. SALS mean here? The difference between SALS and the binary? I didn't catch that. OpenCL? Yeah, so, so, so OpenCL, actually, um, a, a, a device uh, can, can often uh, sort of recompile your, your intermediate code, you know, sort of on the fly. Right. So, so if you use that mechanism, you know, uh, you get something that's less optimized than, of course, when it's pre-compiled. Okay. And now, again, I, I, I really... I, I, well, I, I copied these things out of the paper. They, they were correct observations, but it also was in the early days, and people really hadn't worked very hard on, on that aspect of it. Um, and it just <coughs> happened that on that generation oops, uh, of the Tesla, uh, which, you know, it's not true for the current generation, that, that one does clearly outperform the uh, cell. Uh, but we happen to be, you know, of similar performance, which makes made me feel pretty good because, you, you know, that. Yeah, this Tesla had, uh, I forget what it was, you know, four, four, four times as many transistors or so. <laughs> so from an efficiency point of view, we were, we were still uh, we were Okay, um, so um, I've talked about, uh, about hybrid uh, processors. I've talked about, you know, how, how we may be able to go to uh, uh, programming standards that actually allow us to, to maintain uh, uh, some, some semblance of, of general purposeness and and portability across these uh, different different machines. Now, eventually, of course, um, you know we, we are going to just simply run out of gas. Uh, you know, if, if, if you're going to uh, build a build a new car, uh, you know you're, you're, not, you're not going to assume that there's going to be all of a sudden a, a much much better kind of steel. You know, that's going to make your car uh, look much better. <laughs> um, and and equivalent of, of, of composites, I guess, are, are still, uh, you know, perhaps a, a ways off. Um, so, you know, ultimately we may have to, you know, take, take this idea of, of, of special purpose further, uh, work very hard on creating uh, sets of, of, of libraries. I think, you know, they have to go along with, with, uh, with that kind of use of technology. So, so as we are creating the computational infrastructure, you know, to use this heterogeneous hardware. You know, if we can think a little bit further ahead uh, to where we might actually have uh, fixed uh, kinds of accelerators uh, that uh, 
and that are more hardwired to, to do one thing or another. Uh, that, that, uh, that might be something. And of course, the further out we go here, the more question mark. But it might be something that, uh, that we eventually need to do as well. Uh, so the good news is that there's, I think, still lots of room for performance and efficiency improvement. Uh, and try to sketch one way to get at it. So it's going to be hard work. Yeah, and, and, well, there's a lot of time to go there. And I'm not, my group does both CUDA and OCCL programming. And I, actually, even last week, of course, with the cameras turned off, I won't say it in public. And I'm probably not going to be killed This one's still <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I'm not mentioning any names. But uh, I heard, uh, I, let's just say, I heard an AMP employee admit that uh, OpenCL was not as efficient on their advices as, uh, as, as CUDA was. Yeah, so, so look, I'm, I'm not making any statement. But I'm, I'm, not not ma I'm not making any statement about the merits of the language itself. Right. right? I, so so the, the thing that I, so, so if, you know, if they get the OpenCL group to adopt all kinds of aspects of CUDA or the way, I think the thing that is fundamental and very, very, very important is that a standard is open and multi -tender. I agree with that. And, and if we don't do that... Which is why we also do open CL, although we're the high-performance group, you know, we do both, right? Right, 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 I, right. I, so We have to do both. In my right, right, right. And, and, and so I'm, I'm, I hope you don't misunderstood me. No, no, no. I, I, but if I, you I, want to be current, leading edge, efficient... Yes, and, and, and of course, you know, in high-performance computing, you know, if, if, if you've paid $100 million for your machine, right, you're, 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 you're especially highly motivated you know, to use that last 10%, right? Because in some ways, you know, that's maybe $10 million, right? Um, but but, but a, a, a lot of the market is, is, is driven by, by uh, ease of use right? and, and ease of adoption. And ease of use, I hate to say that you have, you have a lot more, of course you copy-paste after you program a couple of programs, right. but when you start with OpenCL, you have a lot more, lot more mumbo jumbo to specify that. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and um, Sorry. <laughs> so, so certainly the, the, the OpenCL group, you, you know, could have been a lot around longer. You know, they haven't had a start. A lot of the tooling around the language, you know, the, the language is in many ways very similar, I think, yeah. to, to Open, but a lot of the, the tooling around the language is, 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 is clearly more difficult. Uh, so, Which uh, one? In, in, in CUDA, it's okay. more mature. You know, no, I, no, I believe that OpenCL is, is, is catching up. Fast, you know, because they we'll be have a, a lot of people contributing to. So, so I'm not. Um, I guess the, again, the only, the only message on, on my part is that I think for the industry as a whole, it's just absolutely vital that we have an open and portable stand that, that that eventually, made, you know, make make graphics cards really go. You know, and, 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 open and and then, you know, if it is a standard, it actually. Um, also, what they made API. I was part of API. And, and, yeah. Not to brag, but we actually honestly did not know that we were going to be successful. We, we were, actually at the time we modeled ourselves after HPF, which for most people here don't even know what it is. Yes. <laughs> we I, thought they I, were the I, success, I, I, and we were the ones trying to do some kind of standard. Right. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so the, the the other thing that it, that it allows is that that once there is a a clear standard for these kinds of things, actually. You know, if, if, if I was, was going to be in a situation now where, where I was going to design a cell processor, it probably would look a little bit different because I would 